Hey everybody, I'm very excited to be able to do a little bit of a Guinness tap handle feature here. So this is actually going to be a kind of specific feature about the vintage style Guinness tap handle. So I call these vintage style because some of them I'm not sure how late they were producing them or if any of them are currently in modern production or have been upcycled or anything like that. So I'd like to start out with that context. But with these tap handles, that style, the vintage tap handle style, is what we're seeing right here. So it's a style that I've loved that I love. I've featured in some previous videos before. But you've got this great kind of rubberized top. It's a plastic, I believe, that they produce that out of. It's fairly durable. It's got the Guinness logo as well as name right in the front with that little faceplate that's not a removable faceplate so that's just actually part of the tap handle you've got the finale up top and then this is kind of their <laughs> ferrule so it's worth noting that this is the nitro style so that means that you do not have the standard north american threading instead you have a pin so you've got this locking pin right here. And one of the reasons why I wanted to cover this is because I've got some variations on it. So I've got this particular one. This one is a short variation. So this is what you typically see as the short one for these. Then you also have the long variation. You'll notice the difference here with the length of the brass portion at the bottom. So it's not a significant difference, but you are noticing that it is a little bit shorter there. And then with this longer one, I actually still have this attached to the faucet. So the faucet is going to be your bottom portion right here. So handle, locking pin, and faucet is roughly what the terms are going to be used. And so this is the taller one. Once again, that vintage style, really wonderful. And then another variation that I have here that you'll see from time to time is one with the silver base. So once again, provenance and stuff like that, I don't know all of the details about it. So of course, if anybody knows anything more about it, then definitely let me know. But you will occasionally see these variations where you have that top like that, and then you have it with a silver base. So this is a silver base that you commonly see on the other Guinness ones. It's quite possible that this is something that they that either somebody has redone on their own or that Guinness has redone at some point because one of the things you'll typically see is you'll typically see a matching finale with the ferrule or whatever you have as the base. And so here we have a variation where it's brass up top and this kind of chrome on the bottom. So it's possible that this is a redone version either officially or unofficially and so i did want to show you guys that so with this there actually is a base portion that goes in there occasionally that can become damaged so it's just worth noting in case you ever see one where the bottom section seems a little bit loose that means that you might have a problem with it but hopefully that was helpful for people hopefully you like it i do love the guinness tap handles so if you guys have any questions or if anybody has any additional information as far as timing for production or anything like that, let me know.